Delboy would have done anything for a fiver, and so it seems would only Fools and Horses fan Dan Winwood. Dan was browsing eBay when he saw something he had always wanted and put in a bid for it. Went to buy the van uh, August 2007 and uh, basically what happened is uh, I went for the auction and um, I lost, lost it. But a £5 pub bet with his friends prompted the 36 year old to track the van down and in November he bought it for £3,500 from the man who had won the original eBay auction. Dressed as Batman and Robin, Dan and his friend John Clayton had to drive the van back from Edinburgh and they broke down three times over the three day drive. I've had people, uh, they wave and they beep, and uh, even when it's parked out the front, they beep. Um, I don't think they're expecting me to sort of run out and say, all right there, or what, I really don't know. But um, no, I'm just, just enjoying owning it uh, at the moment. Dan is chuffed to bits with it, but does his wife think it's lovely jubbly, or does she say, what a plonker? Um, she's very good, actually. She totally takes it in her stride. She used to me buying stuff like this, um, so... <laughs> So, no, no, she, she really hasn't got a problem with this at all. She's, she's quite understanding. Dan's obviously a huge Only Fools and Horses fan, but what is it about the programme that people find so appealing? Well, we're all chasing the buck at the end of the day, and it's all such, such good-hearted uh, humour. I, I don't know anybody that is, in all fairness. Until Dan becomes a millionaire, he's going to keep the van on the forecourt of his company, Dan's Vans, which he started in August. And what does Dan Boy have to say about it all? This is Sam Emmanuel for Poor People.